Indoor Cycling Repair and Review coming at you with another review of the Schwinn Indoor Cycling Model SC7. Today we're talking about the seat. Schwinn, Schwinn has done some good things on this bike, but a lot of things that they do on this bike are poor quality and substandard. In this case, I want to show you the seat. The seat. Look at the seat buckled here. You can see that's buckled. Okay, and the reason why, they use a cheap, crappy seat. See that? Buckled. These bikes are a, a few months old, okay? Here you go. Buckled. 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 While I'm at it, I'm going to review a couple things that I don't like about this bike, and then I'm going to review a couple things that I do like about the bike, okay? Number one, the belt drive system. This has got a belt drive system here, okay? And here's what I have to say about this belt drive system. It's terrible. If you got to work on it and troubleshoot it, um, I've got a couple bikes right now where the drive train it appears it was making some creaking noises and then when you pull off this cover okay but there's a mechanism there's several mechanisms that tighten um, and the tension on the belt drive and there's got a pulley system and then you also have this plastic uh this is a, a pulley for the belt drive so i basically i have already replaced the belt the pulley, the apparatus that uh, the apparatus that tensions the belt, okay, and it turns out it's the bottom bracket. So, in this case, the customer paid over four hundred dollars over four hundred dollars in labor, okay, and parts to get this thing fixed. I could go on and on about this bike, what I like and what I don't like, but I would just say. For all intents and purposes, I think that this is the first generation of a new bike by Schwinn. Schwinn is actually Star Trek, and Star Trek is actually Core Health and Fitness. Core Health and, Health and Fitness owns Schwinn trademark, and they basically made this bike and put a Schwinn logo on it. So here's what I'm gonna say about this bike. For, for repair on this bike, for this sole reason, I would steer clear of this bike, okay? If we're, now we're talking, um, this is on the high end, the professional grade equipment, indoor cycling bike, professional grade indoor cycling bike. So if you're looking at spending over $1,500 to close to $2,000, okay? I would not even consider to purchase the Schwinn Studio series and as a matter of fact the only Schwinn's that I would consider would be the Schwinn AC series With either the belt drive or the chain. I would not ever consider the Schwinn studio models There's a bunch of other things here. Let's see. I'm already at um, Almost uh, four minutes here. There's a bunch of other things. I have videos on my channel uh, Reviewing this bike and some of the other Schwinn studio models just put it this way, it's not worth it. It's just, it's not a high quality bike. Some areas of the bike are high quality, but some areas are substandard and poor quality.